This show is, is, uh, this one is, it's not for the faint of heart. It's time to take your head out of the sand and prepare for what is coming. Now, I hope that I am wrong, but I'm asking you to use some common sense here. The price of raw materials like cotton and corn are on the rise, and I mean dramatic rise. Cotton is the highest in 140 years, is it not? Highest price ever traded, Glenn. Ever traded, okay. Companies can no longer afford to eat the rising costs, so they're going to be passed on to you. If you think, well, I just won't eat corn again. Oh, problem with that one. Everything is connected. For example, the typical grocery store. Let me ask the audience, how many, how, how many products are in the grocery store that are connected to corn? Do you think? Give me a number. Anybody? 500. 500. 1,000. 4,000 products. 4,000 products have corn ingredients on the label. Now this is Eric Bowling. He is the uh, host of Follow the Money, which Thank you, Glenn. is on the Fox Business uh, yes, sir. Network. How are you? I'm great. Um, okay. Things are going up. You and I talked about uh, this, I think it was Monday morning. I came, <laughs> I came in. We, it, at Fox, we have really intense conversations at times in the hallway. You'll be passing, you go, wait a minute. Or oil and corn going through the roof, right? People are going to be starving to death. Bad, bad. <laughs> People are like, yeah, yeah, it's going to be bad. So I asked you to put together and explain exactly what's going up and why. Sure. Vil Vilsack said the corn thing, this is all just, uh, what did he say? It's all just uh, speculators. So it's not going to really, it's not going to worry, you're not going to worry about it. And they'll, the government will tell you, people will tell you that we don't even have inflation. The, the yeah. reason for that is because the government puts out an inflation number that removes food and energy. How convenient, right? Yeah. Because the only two things we really use every day, food, food and, and energy. energy. So okay. you remove that and, and things don't look bad. Admin, He's, bad. He says, um, I'm sure that commodity prices necessarily translate, I'm not sure that they necessarily translate directly and proportionally into food costs. Can, let me show corn. Uh, they go up and down all the time. Show the, show the commodity index for corn and what has happened here. Yeah. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> that is gigantic. Can you show, can you show cotton? Now, all cotton. Time in, high. All, time. all time high. Cotton was huge here. Do we know anything? Did cotton, were, were prices up? In 1995, there was a cotton, a, a bit of a cotton shortage, people. Uh, that would be called a, a panic uh, for cotton prices. They spiked. However, when that happened, guess what price oil was per barrel in 1995? Throw what? a number out there. 1995, I bet it was like $40, $30. It's probably 15 bucks a barrel. $15. So a cotton spike didn't feel like a brand new cotton spike right now with an $82 barrel of oil and all the other prices going up. Okay. So um, how many people here have, how many people here do believe that inflation is not happening? <laughs> you go shopping, right? Have you noticed the price increase? Has, has you, have you noticed anything that you've gone, holy cow, yet, when you're in there? Anybody going to give an example? Laura, I see you. Sh milk. Shake. What'd you say? Milk. Milk. Milk uh, was running two ninety nine maybe a month or two ago. My husband saw up to three ninety nine this week. Sure. Three ninety nine a gallon. Glenn milk up about a dollar a gallon in, in, in the last year. A lot of things are made for milk. A lot of cheeses, milk prices going up affect a okay. lot of other things. I want to just, I want to just go on, on this. Let's just look at corn. Because if we have corn, and may I play something? This is from me a long time ago um, when we started, when we were debating ethanol. Watch what I said when we were debating ethanol. This is like, I don't know, four years ago, three, four years ago. What's the cause of this? Well, it's something we've told you about for a long time. We are burning our food supply. Ethanol made of corn. And I talked to her, I said, if God forbid anything happens, yeah. we'll be screwed. Right. Uh, one, clear one third of all corn production is used to produce ethanol right now. And if that were to go up, that puts more of a pressure on corn. Okay. But corn, what you don't understand is corn not only affects anything that corn syrup, um, not only affects corn syrup, but it also affects the price of meat because we feed our pigs, our chickens, our cows, corn. About 40% of what the, the, the corn, the bushel of corn, goes to feeding our livestock. Perfect. Oh, by the way, pick up almost any product in the supermarket, the 4,000, and you'll notice high fructose corn syrup. 
That's what. That's where the, you take the corn, they and pull the kernels off, they, they mash it, the, and they make the syrup out of that. Everything's the, sweet. The two things that really concern me are oil and corn. You're right. Because Perfect. oil and corn, you have, you have India and China, these new nations that are now coming online, and they're saying, oh, they're going to be great, and they're going to, you know, the emerging world, they need more rice. They need, they need more of everything. I saw, uh, I don't know if it was in the Wall Street Journal, about um, uh, energy in China. They have doubled, what is it, their coal production in like three years? Not only that, they have now uh, surpassed the United States in energy usage per capita. We were, not per capita, I'm sorry, total energy usage They're on their way to per capita, Glenn, because they did it, they're doing it so quickly. They're rapidly increasing. They have a okay. food problem, they have an energy problem, but they're solving it, solving it better than we are. Okay, so um, you have, if you take out energy it's mm. not just gasoline I have a friend who's John Huntsman he has the big chemical plant he told me he said Glenn you use oil in the in the tablets that you take for medicine sure. you use oil in everything look at it this way the the cotton at an all-time high say jeans uh, wool, uh, coats so, so you say what about wool well wool prices have gone up too you so you say how about polyester energy oil oil it's yeah. almost all oil. okay so here's the thing, America, I, I just want you to think of this. The, the world is changing. The world is changing. And you can listen to yourself in the grocery store or you can listen to the people in Washington. Now, maybe they're right. Maybe in the end this all goes away and this is just a little spike. Maybe they're right. But we're talking about the future of our country and we're talking about our children. So now what do you do about it? Not, not the big Wall Street investors. I'm going to tell you how to invest your money. What do you do about it? Real life. Next.